Most High God, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, the Ocean Divider, the Lily of the Valley, the Bright and Morning Star. I am that I am is your name. How many presents, how many signs is your name. Creator of the whole world is your name. You are the God that answered by fire. You are the God that never leaves your children. You are the God that never sleep nor slumber. Who watches over the affairs of your children. May your name be praised this evening. May your name be exalted. Be that glorified. Be that magnified. Abba Father, we say thank you. Thank you this evening. Thank you for this hour. Your name alone is exalted. Your name alone is glorified. Your name alone is magnified. Lord, we say thank you. Be that glorified, Lord. Be that glorified, Lord. Be that glorified, Lord. O shed divider, be that glorified. I am that I am, be that glorified. Rock of ages, be that glorified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for making us to be in your presence this evening. For in your presence there is fullness of joy. In your presence there is anointing. In your presence there is power. In your presence there is peace. In your presence there is joy. Lord, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, Abba Father. We say thank you this evening for making it possible for us to be in your presence. In your presence, O King of Glory, we get, we are guaranteed your joy. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Abba Father. Being in your presence is a great thing. Lord, we are worshiping you for whom you are. We are thanking you for today's service because we know that your hand will rest upon this service today. Your hand will rest upon the service today. Holy Spirit of God, come and have your way. Come and have your way this evening for the service. Come and have your way. Come and manifest yourself. Manifest yourself in this service. Manifest yourself in this service. That your name alone will be glorified. Your name alone will be exalted. Holy Spirit of God, we call upon you this evening. Come and take control. Come and take control. Let your name alone be glorified. Let your name alone be exalted. Let your name alone be magnified. Let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for bringing us together. There is no one like you. Take all the praise this evening. Take all adoration this evening. Exalt your holy name. Magnify yourself, Holy Ghost. Magnify yourself. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. We call upon you in the days of trouble and you delivered us. Baba, there is no one like you. We are saying thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your sufficient love in our lives. Thank you for your glorious work in our life. Thank you, O oh God, that we go out, we come in. It has been your grace. It is not our power. It is not our strength. It has been you. You alone has been doing it. You alone has been doing it. Father, we have come to return all the glory to you this evening. We have come to return all the honor to you this evening. We have come to say, Lord, you are worthy of our praise. We have come to say, Lord, thank you for making it possible for us to be in your presence. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's begin to open our mouth and begin to pray for messes this evening. But I will pray for your messes, your messes, your messes. Let the messes of God walk on us this evening. Lord, we call upon your messes this evening in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let your mercy speak for us this evening. Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy reign in us this evening. Let your mercy reign in us this evening. We call upon your mercy to have its way in our life this evening. We are without you, we are nobody. Without you, we are nobody. We can't do it without you. We can't do it without you. We call on you to have your way this evening. Let your mercy reign in us this evening. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' marvelous name we have prayed. We are still in the mood of prayer. We are going to call on the power of the Holy Spirit to take over the service this evening. Holy Spirit of God, come and take over the service. Let your service be your service and let it be your service alone. Not our service, but your service. Let it be your service, not our service. Let it be your service, not our service. We commit today into your able hands. Let it be your service, not our service. Lord, we ask that you have your way in this service. Your service, your service. Glorify yourself alone in the service. Glorify yourself. Have your way this evening. In Jesus' name we are praying. Have your way, my life. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way in our life. 
Holy Spirit, have your way in my life. Father, have your way, have your way in our life. Holy Spirit, have your way in our life. Father, come and have your way this evening. Thank you for having your way already. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you for coming. Thank God for your life. Thank God for the grace of God speaking for you in the name of Jesus. This evening we are going to talk about, in this is our Bible study today, we are talking about better to give, better to have a good name. Amen. Better to do what? To have a good name. God bless every one of you watching us from the net. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. You will never regret being in this service this evening. The glory that go with the service will go with you this evening. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you for those of you that have shared the video. God bless every one of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Now this evening we are going to be talking about better to have a good name. Hallelujah. Better to do what? To have a good name. Let's turn our Bible to Proverbs. Proverbs uh, 22 verse 1. Proverbs 22 verse 1. Praise the Lord. Proverbs 22 verse 1. Let's be clear on our Bible then and see what the word of God says concerning us. He said, a good name is better than describable. Than, he said, a good name is more describable than great words. Respect is better than silver or gold. Hallelujah. And remember, I'm using GWN, which is God's word uh, uh, new. God's word new. Hallelujah. That is what I'm using. He said, a good name is more adore, desirable than great words. A good name is more desirable than what? Great words. Respect is better than silver or gold. Hallelujah. A good name is desirable than great words. And he said, respect is better than silver and gold. May we gain our respect back today in the name of Jesus. May we gain our respect back again tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So this evening I said there is a popular saying that the sweetest word in anybody's ears is their name. Hallelujah. And it's true. When they call your name, the way you will pose yourself, the way you will start, the way you will even present yourself, it is if you love to hear that your name. Hallelujah. I said the Bible also let us know that a good name is better than great riches, which I just explained in that Proverbs 22 verse 1. A good name is better than what? Great riches. Hallelujah. A good name is better than great riches. I said us on several occasions, God changes his, the name of those who walk with him. Hallelujah. I said on several occasions, God changes the name of those who do what? Who walk with him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Even those of you watching us from the night tonight, God is going to change your name. Irrespective of the kind of name that a human being has given to you, after today's meeting, God will change your name to a good one. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I said God changes the name of those that do what? That walk with him. I said he changes Abraham supposed father to do what? To what? Abraham, the father of many nations. Hallelujah. And he changes Sarah, Sarah, to what? To Sarah. Sarah means the mother of prince. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the Bible says God, because of their statue, because of their diligence, because of their work with God, God has to do what? He has to change their name. So tonight, every effort you have ever put in the sight of God, we cause God to change your name. Hallelujah. Amen. It will cause God to change your name. Amen. Some names are going to be changing tonight. Amen. Some names are going to be revived tonight. Amen. Some names are going to be restored tonight. Amen. Some names are going to be given back to them tonight. Amen. Some names are going to carry virtue tonight. Amen. Some names are going to carry some glory tonight Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I come to find that there are so many names some people, the name that is affecting them is what their father gave to them, or the name of their forefathers. Hallelujah. It has cost them a lot. It has cost them a lot. It has cost them a multitude of fortune that they have to. They will ask them, what is your name? You see some homes. 
You see some family, you see some fine ladies, they want to get married. They, 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 the sultan will take them to, to his family. Immediately they will get to the family, the sultan's parents will ask the girl. He said, ah, please, oh, who are you? Ah, my name is Anna. And they will say, what is your father's name? He will say, ah, my father's name is Big Head. Ah, the parents will call their son's attention. They will say, please, son, excuse me. And when the child, when the son excuse their parents, they will tell their, their son, do you know, do you have that name? Do you hear what that person said? They will say, yes, now. Her name is called uh, Anna. Her father's name is Big Head. They will say, do you know what Big Head did to this community? Have you ever heard, the, have you hear their story before? Do you know what they have done to this community? So we say, ah, you, that big girl you said now, do you know that that big girl, they have never drive a car in their life? They have never ride a car in their life. And you want to get to, you want to marry such person, a place where there is no wet, a place where there is no riches, a place where there is no peace, a place where there is no, no, no joy. Is that where you are going? Names. Names. You are going to tell yourself tonight, whatsoever name that was given to our forefathers that has been affecting my present situation must get out of my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, for God to bless Abraham, for God to bless Sarah, he has to change the both names. Hallelujah. He has to change the both names. He has to give them another kind of name. What about, let's talk about uh, another good example is Peter. Hallelujah. Peter was having a name. And what was his name? His name was called Simon. Simon in the Bible. His name was called what? Simon. And Simon means, he said, red or unstable. Hallelujah. Red or unstable. That is the meaning of Simon. Simon's meaning gave him a lot of stress. That was why, if you look at the story of Peter, and if you look at when Jesus left Peter and the disciples, you see what happened. His name was still fighting him, even when God has given him a name. What happened? When God said, Peter, do you love me? He said, I love you, master. Do you love me? He said, I love you. God asked him three times. And when he was asking him, he was, he was commissioning a project into his hand. And what was that project? He was dedicating the, the, the flocks into the hands of Peter. Why did God ask Peter? I come to realize when I was told in this world today, I come to realize that the reason why God was emphasizing or why God was repeating that question on the life of Peter, it is because he knows that Peter is unstable. He knows that Peter does not bear. He knows that Peter cannot stay in one place. Hallelujah. Praise the, Praise the Lord. And that was why God was asking, listen, you can hide your character from everybody, but you cannot hide your character from God. Amen. Amen. All you need to do for you to be struggling with God, just say, God, help me out of this magnetic character. Help me out of these habits that is working against me. Hallelujah. And Pastor Paul said, he said, my, my, my spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. Nobody should question God. And nobody should be offended when you are passing through any situation. What you need is to have a communion with God. And with that, God will restore that which was taken from you. Hallelujah. Amen. You see this, you see the, the meaning of Simon. Simon means what? Red or what? Unstable. Then God has to do something for Peter. What did he do? He has to change his name from Simon to what? To Peter. And what is the meaning of Peter? Peter means rock. Rock can never be moved. Hallelujah. <laughs> you see what God did there? You see the logic there? God has to do what? He has to give him a name called rock. And that meaning is that means that signifies Peter, whether you like it or not, whether your father gave you a name that is working against your destiny, I don't get to know. But what I have come to do tonight, I have come to rewrite your name. You are going to pray for yourself, say, My father, my maker, rewrite my name. Rewrite my name. Rewrite my name. 
Whatsoever name that was given to me in the past by my forefather, my native name, whatsoever name that was given to me in my community that is working against me, my Lord and my mentor, rewrite my name. Rewrite my name for truth. Rewrite my name for blessings. Rewrite my name for joy. Rewrite my name in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. May the seated God bless you. Hallelujah to his name. Amen. He said he did what he rewrite the name of Peter by calling him Peter, which means wrong. I said this let us know how much important God's place on names. Hallelujah. You can remember the story of Jacob. When Jacob met with God, what happened? Jacob met with God and he was wrestling with God. That is how some of us are today. When that, when that, when the Bible said he wrestled with God, yes, he wrestled physically, spiritually he was still wrestling with God because it was in his dream. And when he now woke up, he found out that he was injured. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, when, uh, when God met with, uh, with uh, Jacob, after so many times of fights, after so many hours of wrestling, what did he do? He said, hey, come, let me tell you something. Uh, please, let me go. Uh -huh. You are asking me to bless you. You are asking me to bless you. By the way, what is your name? Ah, Jacob said, my name is Jacob. He said, do you know the meaning of Jacob? Jacob means what? Cheat. Jacob means 419. Jacob means a slander. Jacob means a deceiver. Jacob means a pretender. Jacob means a stealer. Jacob means a robber. Oh, is that name you want me to bless? Remember what I said? I hate sin. And you are bearing this name. And this name is carrying a lot of love on itself. And that was when Jacob said, Ah, Baba, if that name is not good for me, Baba, what are you waiting for? Can't you change the name? And God said, Ah, because you have wrestled with me for a long time and I have given you a wound on your body. For that reason, I will compensate you. And I have loved you from your mother's womb. For that reason, I'm going to change your name. I am changing your name from Jacob to what? To Israel. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if God lost you right from the beginning. It doesn't matter how covenant you are with God. But if your name has, has been attached with idol, it will work against you. Hallelujah. Because God has no business with idol. For those of us that are watching me, look at your Sunday. I am not telling you to deny your Sunday, but I'm only telling you that you can change that name. Ah, my father in the Lord, my father in the Lord, Eko Sayato, his, name was, his father's name was not called Eko Sayato. His father's name was called Ekato. Hallelujah. Ekato was his father's name. But he was the one that changed his name from Ekato to Eko Sayato. Hallelujah. I was still living with them when they changed that name. Amen. And immediately my papa changed his name, everything turned around for good for that man. I don't know who God is talking to. Your name can affect your destiny. Your name can affect the destiny of your children. Your name can affect your promotion. Your name can affect your good work. Your name can affect anything that was supposed to be best in your life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we hear the name of I want to do some comparison this evening. Please pardon me, don't be offended. Hallelujah. Who we hear the name of Anini and we like to recommend the child of Anini to anybody? No way. Hallelujah. No way. It's only a few of us. Maybe a person like that can recommend that child. I can I can accept that child. You know why? I will accept that child in the rest. In the, in the sense that my eyes are open. I can pray for that child. Amen. But many people will not like to accept that child. Why? Because of the background. Hallelujah. What about let's put this one again? Who we accept the name when when a, when a child called uh that go to song, come to your house. Who will you accept? You accept Anime or you will accept that body? You will accept that body. Why do you accept that body? Because you have seen the great and mighty things that that man has done. Amen. I just use those two people as an example. Please don't be offended if you are here with me. And if you are related to one of them, please don't be offended. It's just a teaching. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring out the things that I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I said to you this evening that the only way you can make your name be attached to a good name is when you walk with God. Hallelujah. Are you ready to walk with him? 
You need to work with God for God to do something in your life. Praise the Lord. I said, when God reveals His name, He shows us His personality and what is He, what and what He represents to us. Amen. Amen. When God Himself reveals His name, He shows what His personality. When He was sending Moses to uh, Pharaoh, what did He tell him, Moses? When Moses was to go to that era, Moses said, Ah. This one you are, you have shown me everything, oh. You, know. you have done every great and mighty thing with me here now, but nobody else is with me here. I am the only one inside this wilderness, oh. Inside this bunny bush. That you have shown your ability to me. That if I get to the outside, if I get to the community where you are sending me to, if they ask me who sent me, who do I say that sent me? That was where God told him. Go and tell that person that I sent you to, that the I am, that I am. And because you know why he used that name? Because there is no any other person on this planet earth that can bear such name. And there is nobody. And when that name comes out of your mouth, you shake his the head. For tonight, I don't know who God is talking to. God is telling me to tell you that you should come back to your community and tell them, I am that I am has come to change my name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is too faithful to fail. God is too faithful to fail. I said, I said, that was why he revealed himself by calling himself what? El Shaddai. That was why he revealed himself in character in his name. That is why he called himself El Shaddai. And what is the meaning of El Shaddai? El Shaddai means mighty man. Amen. Means the strong and bright one. Amen. The strong and bright one who gives no, no strength in his people. Amen. To his people. He is the only one. El Shaddai means the bright. The great bright. The strong bright. The strong wind. That is why you will breathe in and breathe out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is why the devil cannot ask you why you breathe in. That is why the devil cannot ask you why you breathe in out. That is why you could not see the air. You don't know where the air is coming from. Neither do you know where the wind is going. The wind is just blowing. God is the wind. It's the strong wind. El Shaddai. El Shaddai means the strong breath of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't know who God is talking to tonight, but I know that God is talking to his people. And another name that God gave to himself is God Jehovah. Jehovah means the covenant keeping God. Amen. Jehovah means what? The covenant keeping God. I don't know who God is talking to tonight. If I'm too fast, you let me know by tapping. If I'm too fast, you can let me know by typing in. I don't know God is talking to tonight. But I know that there is a God that answered by fire. Yes. That covenant he made with you, he will bring it to pass. Amen. It's the covenant of the God. Amen. Is there any delay in your life? Call on Jehovah. Jehovah will bring that answer to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I said the Lord who revealed who overrules the gods of hell of earth? Amen. Amen. God is the God, Jehovah. Another kind of meaning of Jehovah. God that overrules. Amen. God that do what overrules. Let's turn our Bible now to Exodus. Exodus. Exodus 6 verse 3. Exodus 3 and 6 verse 3. Let's go there. Exodus 3 and 6 verse 3. Praise the Lord. I just want you to be blessed tonight with this message. I want you to be blessed with this teaching tonight. That you need to do something about your name. Remember the topic. Better to have a good name. Better to have a good name spiritually and physically. In your character, there should be a good name. Not you having a name. And that name, that beautiful name, they are calling you beautiful. Beauty. They are calling you beauty. Your character does not, it does not specify your beauty. Hallelujah. It's wrong. They are calling you beauty. Your name is carried beauty. Just like Abraham. Abraham was called Abraham, a father. And he was not having the qualification. He was not having the proof of that name. Hallelujah. Sarah. Sarah was called Sarah. Sarah was not having the proof to, of, of what? Of a motherhood. Hallelujah. And that was why God looked at her and looked at the husband and said, Oh, no. This name must not go in vain. You have a beautiful name, but I'm going to multiply the name for you. May the Lord multiply your name. Hallelujah. In that Exodus 6 verse 3, said, I appeared to Abraham 
Isaac and Jacob as God Almighty. But I did not make myself known to them by my by my name, the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see what God is doing tonight. God is going to rectify issues in your life. God is going to rectify issues in your destiny. You see what he said? He said, I did not, I, did, I appeared to them. Then I did not show my name to them. Amen. Amen. He did not show his name to them, but he appeared to them. Praise the Lord. May God appear to you. Amen. May God appear to you Amen. and turn things around for you. Amen. Amen. I said, Jehovah is the representative name of God. Amen. Amen. Jehovah is the representative name of God. I said, what you call yourself matters a lot. Because your name can have uh, can affect you. Your name reveals you and tells what you represent. Amen. Your name can affect you. Your name he represents you anywhere you go. Amen. Your name, your name, your name. How can somebody be bearing it be no soon? That is not a name. That is not a name. If you are watching me and you have a friend that is bearing such name, tell that person that you met a, a preacher, a minister that just said that name should be changed. If be no soon has nothing to do with God, God cannot bless such name. What you need is a name that be attached to God. If you don't know the name you need to give yourself, give up uh, God do it to yourself. After all, God will just won. Amen. When this election was going on, anytime I see Obaseki, I always tell myself, I say, this man resembles my father. Amen. My father's name is called Godwin. And the man that was into this contest was called Godwin. I said to my husband, I said, oh God, this man will win in Jesus' name. At the time, we have been debating it. We said, maybe he might not win, because we know if it is here, we will be sure that he will definitely win because they don't ring election yet. But when this is now getting hand of hand, we were trying to but at the end of it all, God still gave us the vision. He shows us the, 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 the diagram. Then we now said to ourselves, this man will win. Amen. I don't know who God is talking to. If you don't know the name you need to give to yourself, look for people that are winning. Look for people that are successful and take from their name and give to yourself. Amen. Amen. That is the best thing you can do for yourself. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. I say your name can affect you. Your name reveal you and tell what you represent. Amen. I say, if for instance your name are called Blossom, Blossom, do you think that anybody bearing that name Blossom will fail? No. What is the meaning of Blossom? So Blossom means to expand, to be flourishing. Amen. Amen. So when you have such name, you will never know what is called shame. Praise the Lord. There is, a, there is an adage in our tribe, in our language, I think in Bini, that says, What does that mean? It is where you name that child. The meaning of that name, that is how the name we walk. Amen. If you name yourself Owobo, Owobo will never finish your house. What is Owobo? Happiness. Praise the Lord. If you name yourself Itoha, Itoha will never finish you. What is the meaning of Itoha? Itoha means mercies of God. Hallelujah. If you name yourself Amenagamo, in anywhere you go, people will like to give. People will love you. People will accept you because nobody hates water. Water is Amenagamo. Praise the Lord. I don't know God is talking to tonight. I am here. I believe that God is going to transform somebody's life tonight. Amen. Somebody's life must be transformed Amen. tonight. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, if you are giving names, please watch the names you give. Watch the names you give. Names matters a lot. Names give some great meanings. Names goes far to walk in somebody's life. Amen. Amen. So we are going to read the story of, of, of a person that submits totally to God and God transform his life. Let's turn our Bible to Genesis 17 from verse 1. Genesis 17 from verse 1. Hallelujah. He said, When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him. He said to Abraham, I am God Almighty, living in my presence with 
integrity. He said, I will give you many promises and I will give you very many descendants. He said, immediately Abraham bowed with his face towards the ground and again God spoke to him. My promise is still Okay, hold on. Let me explain this place to you. This from verse 1 to this uh, verse 3 that we just read. We need to explain it to ourselves very well. You see, names, I said it matters a lot. Not just matters a lot. Name, for God to change your name, for God to re assign places to your name, for God to reappoint you to be a winner, first and foremost, you must walk with God. Praise the Lord. You see what God did here? He said his name was called Abraham. Abraham means a father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And what happened? God has, God has gone into the family of Abraham. Abraham and he has saw that in Abraham's family, nothing good is working. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All that is in that family is all sorrow. Sorrow upon sorrow. Amen. God, and God saw the little effort of Abraham. Hallelujah. As God is going to see your little effort tonight and increase you. Amen. 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 God saw the little effort of Abraham and he, he had pity on Abraham. Amen. And that was why God himself appeared to Abraham. Hallelujah. And when he appeared to him, what did he say? He said, and when God was when Abraham was 99 years old, 99 years old, the Lord did what appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be perfect. What does this place mean? Why did I go to King James? I want to really emphasize on this place. Amen. For God to transform your life, for God to change things in your life, you must live a perfect life. You must position yourself. I always tell this to people. Even to my husband. I will tell her, I will say, Daddy, that you say, hey, this person said, I will say, Daddy, tell that person to position themselves. Amen. Because we have we, we believe that we have made God a wicked God. We have turned him to be wicked. And when God is not wicked, God is not a wicked God, oh. God has never been wicked, and he will never be wicked to anybody. That was why he said, he said, my plan for you is for good and not for evil. Praise the Lord. His thought and his will. Amen. He said to him, let's see that, big, that same part of it. He said to him, he said, I am the God, the Almighty God. Walk before me and be perfect. You there, you see people, the believers of today, they will say, nobody is perfect. Say it to yourself. Who says so that you are not perfect? It is only you. Because you know the kind of life you are living. If you are living according to the will of God, thank God. Let it be according to the will of God, not according to the will of man. Because according to the will of man, you will never be perfect. Praise the Lord. According to the will of man, you will never be what? Perfect. Even as I dress now, this sense. You will still see somebody from the next that will say, Wait till this pastor went here. Yes, Are you getting me? Yes. Even if I wear from my head to the toe, I cover every part of me. You will still see that you don't even know how to dress. You can see that anything you do, there is an error beside in the sight of men. But in the sight of God, nothing like error. As long as the Holy Spirit is the one communicating with you. You will say, are you deviating? I'm not deviating. I'm telling you tonight, the condition that is attached for your name to be changed. Amen. The condition that is attached for your name to be changed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That condition is, walk before the Lord. How do you walk before the Lord? Let your service, let your lifestyle be of God's will. Hallelujah. Let your lifestyle let your will, let everything about you be of God's will. If you propose to go to a journey today, you propose it a week ago, and go to today, God said in the morning, God said, don't go to that journey. Let it be the will of God, not your will. 
Praise the Lord. He said, walk before me, Abraham, and be perfect. And Abraham said, he said, if you walk before me and you are perfect, he said, I will make my covenant between me and you. Hallelujah. God is looking for people that he will showcase his power on. Amen. Amen. Remember the topic. This is just a subtitle. The topic of today is Amen. It is better to have a good name than to have famosity and your name is useless. Was Osama Bela not famous? Is he, was he not famous? He was famous in the way. Huh? He was famous. Why are you laughing? Osama <laughs> Bela was famous. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, if you, if you walk before me, if you make me first, he know that you do daily by day, day, day by day, in your daily activities, if you make me first, if you make me number one, I, God, I will come back and keep my covenant with you. Praise the Lord. Uh, God to break covenant. No, God does not break covenant. It is we that break out of his covenant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is we that break out of his covenant. He said, and I will make my covenant between me and you. And we multiply you a city. I will multiply you a city. If you make yourself right, you position, sister, I don't know how I will say this. Forget about me. Stop comparing yourself with me. I may not position myself, but you can position yourself because you are the one in need. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Not running from one place to another, running from Peter to James, James to Andrew for prayers. We have turned God to be so wicked that you might be like you will be the one manipulating you. It is human being like you that will tell you when to go to church and when not to go. Human being like you will tell you when to eat and what not to eat. All because you did not position yourself for God to speak to you. When God, look at the story of Adam and Eve. When God was looking for Adam to talk to, he did not see Adam. Why? Because Adam left the position that God put him. That was where God asked him, he said, Adam, where are you? Adam said, I heard your voice and I hid myself. This is a great teaching and it's a deep one. Except you have the third eyes, which is the eyes of the Holy Ghost, you might not understand what I'm saying tonight. If you live where God puts you, devil will cover you that even when God is coming, he will not see you. Ah, you will say God doesn't mean God does not see. God does not behold darkness. Because immediately you leave God's presence, you are no longer in the light. You are now what? In darkness. And God hates darkness. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Spirit of God. He said, if you walk before me and you are perfect, he said, I will do what I will make my covenant between you and me. He said, and I will multiply you exceedingly. Hey, when Abraham had that, Abraham has to worship God. Abraham has to submit. You need to submit. You need humility to meet the glory of God. Hallelujah. You need the humbleness. That you can to eat the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God's promotions are everywhere. God's covenants are everywhere. God is looking for people to use to magnify his name. Remember what he says. He said, I honor my word 
than my name. God is looking for people to use for an evidence of his goodness. Tell it be Lord, are you ready to be that vessel? Are you ready to be the vessel that God is looking for? Irrespective of what you are going through, are you ready to be the vessel? Praise the Lord. Amen. The spirit says that Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him. You must humble. <laughs> Humility must eat you off. Abraham did what? He fell on his face for God to bless him. That fell on his face is what? It's humility, humbleness. humbleness. All the echo you are carrying with the 1,500 euro in your account or 20,000, according to how much you have. We should know too well that that money was not yours. It's God that gave it to you. God can still come and take it back. Yes. God can make you to sleep and not wake up. A, a, a farmer in the Bible, he was attending to the, the, the grace of, of, of riches. What did he do? After he saw his barn filled with a lot of cross harvest for the year, he compared himself with others and he saw that he was even greater than all of them in the community. What did he do? Maybe they have already given him an award for the year that he's the, he's the best farmer for the year. His head busts. His head busts. Maybe they took, because those days my husband said they used to carry their, their food, their crops, like yam. They would take it to their community hall. Whereby the agricultural, or the agricultural uh, 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 group would come in. The Ministry of Agriculture, they would come in and they would use this uh, tape to be measuring their yam. The longest among all, that means the person is the, the best farmer of the year. He said his father won it severally. So, he's, now this was, I believe that was what happened at the time of this man. This man, maybe they have assessed the whole community and they find out that he is the greatest in farming. And his harvest came out very well. And he said, but you know, most times, most, we, most people, or most of us, we the believers, when people are talking of us, talking of us, ah, Okay, oh, this person, nobody be like that. Oh, it's too rich. Then you see us, we'll be so we'll be so pompous. What do you have? What do you have? What do you think you have? When God has already made you to understand that I lifted one on a brigand one, and no man question my authority. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The man was so arrogant to the extent that he forgot to call on his creator. He forgot to realize that you planted just one seed of corn. But when the corn was germinating, he brought us thousands of seeds. And you don't know how it happened. He forgot that a time came in his life one week ago he planted a yam. Yam that has nothing like symptom of growing. But when he returned back the next week, the thing has burst out of the eggs. He did not know how the, that, that, the, 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 the yam burst his head out of the eggs. You are making, you are, you are eyeing a shoulder with that same person, measuring yourself with him. They will tell you, go to church. Ah, me and a God of my money. Don't. What money do you have? You have nothing. You have nothing. Praise the Lord. I'm going to really expatiate on this tonight. Because this is what is killing so many of us. This is the reason why you see that so many of us are going out of trap. We go with our father's name. Your father works for it. What is your name? Ah, my name is my name is uh, Akidibi. Yes, my grandfather was Akidibi. Yes, not me. Are you getting me, Mama? It was my grandfather that was called Akidibi, not me. I am Juliet, married to 
sound the ball. Oh, Baba, if my husband starts using that name now to be moving up and down, he will only give him faith. He will not give him blessings. No. Because he needs to work for his own. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The man had balls. All of a sudden, he brought out drinks. He was drinking. He began to pause. Yes, it is my hand that made me all this. After all, see, I've seen everywhere. I've covered everywhere. No arm robber will come to my house. Nobody can. I have been destroyed. Tomorrow, I, I will go. I will. I will. That was where God sent for tomorrow. He said, Tomorrow? Tomorrow said, Yes, Papa, I am here. He said, I don't want this man to see tomorrow. I don't want this man to see you tomorrow. I don't want him to see you. Tomorrow I have to return back to the man and say, Come on. There is somebody that owns me. And the person that owns me said, I should tell you, you can't see me. It's only tonight that you see. That was how he slept. He did not wake up. What is that blessing that God has given to you that is busting your brain? What is that glory that you have in you? That potential, that gift you have in you that you thought that nobody else is better than you? Dearly beloved, it can be taken away from you. Better, have, better to have a good name than to be so proud. Better to have a good name than to be so humble, than to be so rude. So rude. You talk anyhow. So rude. You have no regard for anybody. Irrespective of the position that God has put me. In this church, people still know that. Those that are senior to me. I, I refuse them to greet me first. I greet them. I know. I know them. I will say because I am a pastor. They are calling me mama, mama, mama. That will post my prayer. It can't post my prayer. I humble myself. I still, I still humble myself. I know those that sit on me. If I see them, I greet them with respect. It doesn't take anything away from me when I need that to greet anybody. That is how I was brought up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him. Humble yourself for God to talk to you. Remember where we are reading. Genesis 17. We are in verse 3 of it now. And we are going to verse 4. He said, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. Neither shall your name anymore be called Abraham. But your name shall be called Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made you. <laughs> a father of many nations have I made you. Nobody can make you father of many nations. Nobody can make you father of many nations. The only person that can make you great is God. The only person that can make your blessing to return is God. Humble yourself. Stop being rude. Stop being arrogant. Stop disrespecting others. Stop looking down on people. For you don't know tomorrow. You have used your name to, your father's name to obtain so many things. Do you, do you know my father? What about you? Can't you say, do you know me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Humble yourself for you to receive that glory. Give yourself a good name. By your character, by your attitude, give yourself a good name. Give yourself a good name. It's not all the time people will be surnaming you with evil. There is a lady that I know in this land. There is no year. Even before the lady got her document, there is no year that she will not visit police station because of trouble. I was telling my husband during the week, as a such person now, and she has no married though. She's still single. As a such person now, she's asking for marriage. She has, she's asking for Suto. She's praying for it. Which Suto will marry Troublemaker? Which man will like to be going to court every year from different cases, not one particular case? You have a beautiful name. 
They call you courage. You are not encouraging people. You are not encouraging people. Your name is causing disaster. You go into a meeting, you cause problem for them. And you say your name is called courage. How is it courage? How are you encouraging people? Praise the Lord. They say your name is called patience. The patience is not there. Anybody you see with new thing, you go after them. I must get this thing. Are you patient like that? Your name is supposed to be called greed. Uh, called, uh, uh, what do they call it? No, your name should be called greed. Greed. It's greed. The one you have, I told you, I've not finished it. You go after others. And you say your name is called patient. It's Zegbe. You are not Zegbe. Praise the Lord. Are we together this evening? We need to talk to, to talk to ourselves tonight. Hallelujah. Tell him that nobody knows tomorrow. Tomorrow can tomorrow, the only person tomorrow obeys God. The same way death obey God. This truth is mama. Need to fear it. Fear her. Those two names. Death tomorrow. Fear her. Because nobody knows her. Temple can turn around. Temple can turn around. <laughs> I said temple. I don't know God is talking to tonight. I feel like preaching, not teaching. Temple can turn around. Don't say to anybody who are you. Don't say get at I when I was still very young. When I was young, I don't know how to dress. I am always that type. It even see uh, uh, timid. I was so timid that I don't know how to talk and say. If you will see me, you will just say for me that that grow. Because all those dresses, you know, they flick me. When we were in my, my infant year, we were having our, our send off. Then they said to us, this is the code of dressing. We are one get up. I don't have. So I took my auntie's own and wore it. As I got to the gates, me the celebrant, I was among those that they bounced out. They walked me out. No, this dress, dress is not good. It was somebody, my friend, that was telling them, ah, she's she's a, she's the final year student, oh. They are the one going out, oh. But they say, ah, sorry, come in. Praise the Lord. That same person is the one standing here today. Sometimes I look at myself, I look at my clothes, I told, I tell my daughter, I say, this one has disease. The way we close stay free. Nobody knows tomorrow. You need to position yourself. Start right with God, just as God told, talk to Abraham. God might not talk to you with any boat. He will use somebody to talk to you, and that is me. And he's using me to talk to you. Position yourself. God is not wicked. His ears are not dead. Neither his hands short. He's hearing and he's seeing you. He's ready to take away that reproach. Then where are you? When God comes, he did not see you. Told that you are here tomorrow, you are in another place. And he said, God should come and help you. How is he coming to help you? Praise the Lord. God, God hates unstable life. God hates what? Unstable life. Stable yourself so that God will use you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's turn our Bible to Genesis 35. Genesis 35. I say humility can change your name. Humility. It was humility that changed the name of Abraham. Amen. Among the whole children, Abraham was not the first child of Aaron. Then why did God choose him? David was not the first child of his father, Jesse. But why did God choose him? God bless you. Humility must eat you all. Obedience is one of the key to success. Obedience. Obedience. Even if, if I tell you some things, eh, you will you'll be shocked. Some things I know, I know, I know those things. Even in my family, even in my husband's life, I will know. My husband will be doing the thing. I will know. I will, tell, I will just pretend that this is it. We say, uh, Mama, this is our, I'm so okay, honey. No problem. No 
problem. I know that maybe if we take this way, it will be shorter for us to get there. But when he said, that is the way we will go through. I don't doubt. I don't. I don't. I don't. I was okay on the book, Pastor. But this place for quick also, because I know of here. He will say, Are you sure? One day, or just maybe he himself will say, Okay, let's take that place. Oh, take that place. Say, okay. That place is not true. You read the quick one. You need it. Nobody can teach you anything. Before somebody talk, you have answered. You have answered. Mama, I know her. I know her. You know her. Now they ask questions. You know her. They make mistakes always. Some people will conclude on their decision. That is what they will come to you. Mama, eh, they, I, I won't make you just give me your, your suggestion. Oh. Eh, he gave my brother when I want marry. Eh, the brother eh, he did he did tabacha. Eh, he would not talk. Oh. He would not talk. And the person say, eh, he did come. He did come. Mama, are you see him? No. The person make I come. Mama, are you see him? Man, you are not supposed to go. The person is supposed to come and see you here. Now, man, I they go to my house. No, be come and they go to my house. Too. You need to wait, make it go see you. Don't let her, no first go. Ah, mama, I don't already buy ticket. Too. I just make I just tell you. I don't buy. Why are you seeking for my, my, my advice? When you don't see what you see there, you we'll start telling God, why me? Who else? Is it your pastor that we have put on? Patience. Position yourself. When you position yourself, God will show you the right things to do. Praise the Lord. Everybody needs to position yourself. No need of all this holiness. Praise the Lord. Genesis 17. In Genesis 25, I mean. Sorry. Genesis 35. Verse 11. Let's go there. Genesis 35, 11 says, it says, And God said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of you, and kings shall come out of your body. And the Lord which the land which I gave Abraham, Isaac, to you, I will give it. And to your seed after you will I give the land. Amen. This was where God was talking to Isaac to. He said, Isaac, this was where I asked your father to position himself. And when your father positioned himself, I bless him in this land. Isaac, where are you going? Stay in that position I put your father. Stay there. I have not finished my covenant with you. What the boys, what, what is the for? No place. You will be that you will not be blessed, Mama. When I was living in Benin, I can't money. Not because my husband was in abroad. No. A day, if I finish selling my tomatoes, selling my, my goose, my profit will not be more than 20,000 naira. God is watching my at the altar. Most especially when tomatoes are scarce. I know how to hold things. I know how to retain things. I don't wait for my goods to finish before I go to buy. Where other people are looking for, searching for, my younger sister they will be selling my goods and I will still be looking for. There is no business I didn't do when I was in Benin. I sold kerosene. During when kerosene was scarce, I would go and search for it and make money. Praise the Lord. If that same Benin, then you will see some people that will be complaining, I don't have. Praise the Lord. Most people, it's not most of them, those of us that were living together that will know that of the truth. Sometimes, most of the things I was doing at that time, most of them were thinking that it was just my husband that was sending the money. Oh, no. It was not all. I stood. I positioned myself to be blessed. Praise the Lord. So why am I saying this tonight? Irrespective of where you are, God can use you to glorify himself. Tell it below. Sister, I'm telling you to, the truth tonight. I don't know how I want to talk again. Maybe that's how I want to my talk. It's the truth. Anywhere you are, if you humble yourself, God will use you in that land. Amen. Others may be failing, then you will be a blessing. Amen. 
I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. May the Lord use us to glorify himself. Amen. Praise the Lord. He told Abraham, he told Isaac, where are you going? Isaac, relax. Irrespective of the altars you are facing. Wait. I will use this plan to bless you. I must glorify myself in you. All we need to do, most of our prayer point, it should be, Father, make me the evidence of your goodness. Mama, if you are not be praying, be praying it. Sisters, if you are not be praying, be praying it. Make me the evidence of your goodness. Because people are watching you. People are waiting for the testimony in your life. People are waiting to see the glory in your life. Not what you say with your mouth, but the manifestation of the power of God in your life. Say, Father, use me to glorify your name. Use me to prove the point. Use me to show to the earth that you are my God. Use me to show to them that you are not wicked. And God will do something in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I know what I am saying tonight. He said, Where did I sit down there? Humility can change your name. It can change your name from any kind of name they gave to you. And if you know you are bearing a godly name, change it yourself. It's not a sin. Some people are bearing Nini and Abe, I don't know. Serpent. What is that? What is the meaning? Linda. 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 Linda is a serpent. And you start creeping like all your things, all you what you are doing in life is is going going slow. Everybody is at at, 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 the, at the front row. You are still at the back, like snail. Linda. And you are going, you are calabasing with it. And you are very beautiful. Change it. Change the name. Tell yourself, I don't want this name. This name is not hitting me anything. May God give me a good name. A man told me one time, he said, do you know why they are calling me this name? I said, no. He said, now the time way, way war. Now me, now when they pull me, now I will start for my village. I say, yeah. And that smart, he tomorrow, troublemaker. Everywhere he go, now war. I don't know what to say tonight. But I'm here to tell somebody, change your name. Tell God to give you a better name. And when God gives you a better name, things will change for you. Amen. 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 When God gives you a good name, you will know. I say God recognizes names. He recognizes what? Names. God never disregards anybody. He knows you by your name. Just relax. Why did he say? Why did he call Abraham Abraham? Why did he why did he say? Well, who did he call? He called someone. Why did he call Adam? By his name. Why did he call Moses by his name in the wilderness? He knows everybody's name. He knows everybody's name. Irrespective of whom you are. Every other person may look down on you, but God does not look down on you. He can change that name. Praise the Lord. He can change that name. I said, God cares. He has interest concerning and honor your name. I said it is a blessed thing for you to have a good name so that God will do what? Give you blessings. God does not, God does not disrespect you. God is not a, a, a radical God. God does not compel. He, is, he, he, he knows you by whom you are. God will not say, ah, what background are you coming from before I will change your name? God knows. If it were to be human being, do you think they will bless Jacob? Never. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Because before Isaac died, he was blind. That was why he could not see Jacob and Esau. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Which person today, a rich man that wants to, apart from being that God used the person, that wants to bless you. He will just see that your father is blind, your mother is blind. He will still bless you. He will give you his wife, his, his daughter. He's a liar. 
Then God is not like that. God is not like that. If there's anybody that God should look down on, on this land of Larry that should be my family, what position are we choosing? Who be my husband? Who be me? What do we get? We don't get anything. I drove a car in this city that if that car is coming, everybody will be shaking. People will know that mama is coming. <laughs> the people who would a time came where by group of men, they stood, they stood up, they conspired and said, This mama car, we need to change her. If that car was good, they said they want to change it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then inside that same place, God lifted my home up. God bless me. God can bless you. Allow God to take control. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We'll soon be running up. Amen. Amen. We'll soon be running up. I say, keep yourself. Refuse to live your life on the on the thought of feelings of others. Refuse to live your life. Another kind of thing that kills everybody's destiny is this. What will people say? A whole me. That is why you are falling into trouble. That is why you are falling into trouble. The reason why Shumole went out with shame was because of his name. A whole me. People. What if people could talk? At the end of it, your children started mocking them. If they have respected themselves, even of the really regarded of their of their mistake to the to the, to the states, nobody would have disrespected them. Oye, did Oye not say hello drop close? Yes. Our trade fair. Was he not there? He was invited. But if he has left, as he left the, 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 the government suits, he started his behavior. Will he be recognized? Your name, what will people say, has caused a lot of problems to you. Can't you change? The reason why it's is that that sister is still making trouble today. If I don't stop now, say, person just slap me this year. I not slap back. How they will say, a whole me. A whole me has caused a whole problem. How that mean you slap? You know why people should be go away. Better name. Having a better name is better than riches. It's better than that your famosity from nobody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say to refuse to lose hope in yourself. Refuse to lose hope in yourself. Another great point. Refuse to lose hope in yourself. Most people, we have lost hope. We just concluded that we are a failure. I can't do it. I can't do it. Is there anybody that doesn't make mistake? He gets to just carry this blessing come from heaven. He gets, yes, we carry the blessing. And there is no blessing I wanted to say. Is there anybody that just carry education come from heaven? No, there are some things I know. A master degree holder does not know it when it comes to computer. My husband is here. Devices. I can I can control any device as long as I, I see it. I will just hold it. I will control it. A master degree holder will be there. I will be telling them, this is what you need to do. It's a gift. Refuse to disgrace yourself. If you did not disgrace yourself, nobody can disgrace you. Put yourself near God puts you. Stop running away from the position that God has placed you. Praise the Lord. Stop running away. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, God, if God be for you, nobody can be against you. Amen. Nobody can be against your success. You will always be successful. I said, so if your name has a negative meaning, which I have been saying, change it. Change it. Change that name. Change it. I said, let your name reflect, reflect the kind of person you want to be and the kind of life you want to live. Let your name reflect the kind of person 
you want to be and the kind of life you want to be. Hallelujah. Let your name reflect it. Amen. I said, then God can stand on your behalf and your name will mean a lot to him. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you stand, if you position yourself well, if you continue working with your name well, your name is called success. Do things that will be successful. Don't give up at the peak of the success. Abraham was 99 years old when God visited him. 99. 99 when God appeared to him. No time is too late for God to do what he wants to do. God is always there. Yeah. Hallelujah. For further study, you can read 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21, Romans 8, 29. For further study, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. For your further study, that it is how you position yourself that God will position you. Amen. Please, I beg everybody tonight that we should try by all means to live the life that God said we should live. He said, for he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of him, the righteousness of God in him. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is Jesus. Whatsoever you are going to enjoy in his presence, Jesus did it for you. Jesus did it for you. Better to have a good name. Jesus has prepared a good name for you. You don't need to sour it again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Romans 8.29. Romans 8.29. He said for, he said for, praise the Lord. 8.29. Praise the Lord. He said, for whom he did for new, he also did predestined to be confirmed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Hallelujah. God knows you before you were born. He told Jeremiah, he said, I knew you before I put you in your mother's womb. Stop struggling with God so that God can change things for you. Jacob, Jacob struggled and struggled. He gave up at last. And I know that so many of us in the house tonight, we are giving up to God. Giving it up to him. Surrender to him and let him change your name. Better to have a good name than to have those famosity that cost you pain. Change your name. Stop using your father's name to achieve negative reports. It be not soon. It be not that. It be not this. Uh, so many, so many idolatry names. You are attaching them to your name and you say you are a Christian. Change it. Change it. Have your own identity. When God is coming, we know who is there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When God is coming to visit, he will know the name to mission. My husband said something one day. He said, anytime my husband speaks some strong words, I capture it. Even if I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a minister under him. I look at him as my prophet. When he's speaking, I listen. He said, anytime God wants to call his name in the dream, he always calls him a builder. Praise the Lord. Why does he be like that? Because that is the name that God himself gave to him. Abiodun means happiness, celebration, jubilation. And do you think that that person will not ever celebrate? That is why when people were against us celebrating in this church, we were laughing. Because our name goes with what we are doing. You can't be now Mr. and Miss Never! This ministry is not for enjoyment. AKA Center of Celebration. That is what we are. In my home, if you see the way we celebrate, very soon I will be uploading some videos on my on my YouTube channel. Then you see you see this is not pastor. This is not pastor. Pastor, I don't like this. You don't like this. You understand? 
Position yourself for God to bless you. God is looking for people that are humble. May I be humble. We are rising up on our feet. Or do we have any contribution or question that we need to ask? Or we just pray along and go? Hallelujah. Question I want to, especially it goes to me. Then how will someone overcome that thought of if I talk for this thing, what will people say is about me? What will people say? Will people mock me or will people make just of me? So how will someone come overcome those thoughts? That is why I'm telling you, thank you for this question you just asked. When Abraham was called Abraham, people know him for Abraham. Everybody know him for Abraham. Everybody knows Sarah for Sarah. Sarah. Then when God communicated with them, what did they do? They changed it. They told the public, no, don't call me this again. This is what you will call me. People will definitely mock them. See people when they say they call the father of many nations, mother of many nations. They don't get anything. Are you getting me? People were mocking them. Year one, year two, year three. They got their victory at the age of, uh, at the year 25 of the covenant. That was when God visited them. This is the reason why I said, turn away from uh, what will people say? Turn away from it. What will people say? What does that count? Who people there? What do people they talk? He has never, nobody will give a good report about you. I have to be sincere with you. If somebody asks me now, ah, please, can you recommend uh, this is that to me? I'll say, mm. Mm. well, she's good though. She's very good. But that, mm, I've got them you. But it is only God. I said this here not too long ago. That if, if for instance now, there are people that will be watching, but they will come across this by video now. The way I dress now. How? Why would this pastor dress like this? The way I dress now, does it does it have any F, uh, does it have any wrong dressing? No. Is there any negativity in it? No. Then, if for instance I said, okay, from my head to my toe, I wrap it. The only place you are seeing is my glass. They will still talk. They will still talk. Ah! This shame. Which kind of dress it be this one? Are you getting me? It doesn't matter. That is why I like all these gogo -go people. We call gogo brands Franco Force. You see that they will get covers, they will get it on top of native. They are going. It is only with that compare. We say, ah, is, no, 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 no. Sister, if God has spoken, it is what God said you need to follow. Amen. When God sent Moses, Moses did not go to the wilderness, to the burning bush, because of God. He went there to feed his illness flocks. When he met God, and when he met God, what did he say? He said to, to, to his kingdom, I am living home, I'm going to my country. God said I should go and deliver my people. And when, you know that the kingdom will mock him, you were rock come up with your village, now you can say you want God to deliver. Why you want to go deliver? Why did God, why did he Who will not fight for you? Then he didn't care. He did what? He went. And when he still got to the village, are you telling that people will not mock him? People discouraged him. People mocked him. Even when he told uh, uh, his, his brother, his elder brother, Aaron, Aaron at first did not believe him until God gave them sign. Praise the Lord. So what am I saying? This is the more reason why I said we should pray for the evidence of God's goodness. Any decision you are taking that is right with God, pray for his goodness. When my husband left, before my husband left from Nigeria to Germany, we were not suffering, no. My house was a place where people come every Sunday to come and eat, like if I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a restaurant owner. You know how people put their shoes when they get to a large church? That is how they put shoes in my compound, in my house. You'll be hearing noise all over. But when my husband left, I can as well say a whole me, a beautiful wife, never call the sign I can have for outside. I get up my mind. Immediately my husband left. The next week, I went and bought myself fried pan. I bought everything that I used to, to, to make a car. I was selling a car outside there. Praise the Lord. Until I, I gathered a little money from there, I entered the market. I can as well say, ah, my husband did change me. So many women did it. I didn't listen to anybody. I focused. I started selling, I started with a, a basket of tomatoes. Even at that time, I was not having table to shave. Nothing to shave. And it was just a rubber bag I bought. 
a rubber. I spread it on the floor. I spread my tomatoes. I shaded it. I started with that. Before I start, before I left my market, my husband knows I was having four shade, four shade to myself. In only I never lack. So what am I saying? I would have asked say, ah, what would people say? Ah, I can't tell why. What would people say? Would that help me? It's what God says that helps. Tell it, beloved. If God has asked you to carry something on your head and start selling, sometimes if I go to supermarkets and I know that the, the goods I bought, the items I bought are very heavy, I carry them on my head. Or you know they will be looking at me when I'm taking them to home. I carry them on my head. Tell them, I'm using all these things as an example to you that forget about what people will say. Whatsoever what people say does not count. It is what God says that matters. Hallelujah. So be focused. Anytime you are doing anything and the Spirit of God in you did not whip you, know that you are on the right track. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have I answered you? Yes. Now let's stand up on our feet as we begin to appreciate the goodness of God. Let's begin to give Him praise. Let's begin to exalt Him. Let's begin to give Him thanks and adoration for His grace and His mercies in our life, for His love and His peace in our life, for changing our name, for changing our name from evil to good, from evil to good, from changing our name from failure to success, from changing our name from disfavor to favor, from changing our name from grace to grace. Open your mouth and appreciate Him. Open your mouth, reverence Him. Open your mouth, give Him praise. Open your mouth, give Him praise. Ah, my Father, we say to you, we are. Lord, we give you praise, we give you praise, we worship and adore you. We address your name. You are worthy of our praise. There is no one like you. You are the excellent Jehovah. You are the Adonai. We magnify you for who you are. You are great, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, my Maker, change my name for good. As I position myself, let me receive. Let me receive. In this season of, of blessings, this season of blessing, I want to be among those that will be blessed. I want to be among those. Open that your mouth and pray. My father, I am a in Must locate us. 
this home, this home must not fail, must not fail to be celebrated. To be celebrated. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my father, my father, my father, my this home must be known for celebration. This house will be known for victory. This house will be known for, for glory. The doors are open for testimony. The doors are open for victory. The doors are open for testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we thank you. Glorify your name. We exalt you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your sufficient love. Thank you for your happiness. Thank you for your victory. Thank you for changing our names. Thank you for positioning us. Thank you for restoring us. Thank you for your covenant. All this to your glorious name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Bring that to offering if you have one. Bring that to offering. May the Lord bless that offering in your hands. Amen. May he make his face shine on you. Amen. May he give you comfort on every side. Amen. May testimony never depart from you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Drop your offering if you are.